Lincoln, good to see you, sir. Can't believe the equipment they got around here. I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the truck that I gave you. Catch you later. Looks like the place. Sure they saw some action, but they always came out whole. What's your point, kid? Just feels like I missed out on the best times. Golden age. Leave some for... Hey, hey! Ah.
I never did anything to you. It's all some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is the connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Hey, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen. What you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of the robbery. Uh, <laughs> Mulcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, how? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? I've spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was, a monster. Some pens and needles, Lassie. Set. I'm done with Frank Pagani. Poor bastard's not gonna be running anything through Tidfall Harbor again. It's our territory now. Feels like we're finally on the right track. Asking me to lock down this turf tells me you're trying to make amends for leaving me on the outside over the last three sit-downs. All you gotta do now is make it official. Shit, son. I could have secured those rockets as well as anyone. Probably better. You chose me to run the day-to-day -day for the last piece of the city. And I expect to be run dead here as well. So that's where you were? All right. Well, if you want to send it our way, we'll keep it running and making money. Trust ain't something that comes easy to me, kid. But I wish it did. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. You are one brilliantly decisive motherfucker. All right, so if we done, I'm gonna go. Are we done here? I got a whore named Sandy and a bottle of Shane with him. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. Look, I gave you some names and I'm paying you to chase them down. Don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay. Just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think you want something done, right? You all right? The night he... Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Mother! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so we could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. It's like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer, a leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. 
Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez. So he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. One way or another, I'll get my hands on him. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates. <laughs> <laughs>